I'm really doing this. I'm really fucking doing this. Well, hello everyone. This is 22 Tiger Dude here to do my top 10 worst movies of 2014. Now, of course, you guys, just remember all the movies that you're going to see in this worst list. Keep in mind some of these you could probably enjoy. And if you enjoy any of these picks that's in my worst list, seriously, that's awesome. That's really great because we're all going to have different opinions on movies. It doesn't matter what movie it is. All movies are always going to have some kind of different opinion, no matter what. There are 18 movies I thought were terrible in 2014. So, my number 18 through number 12 are the movies I rated 1.5 out of four stars and then my number 11 through my number one are gonna be the movies I gave one out of four stars number 18 Transformers Age of Extinction get it extinction cuz the movie sucks <laughs> yeah you may have cool action and you may have Mark Wahlberg but it doesn't save the fact that most of the characters are a bunch of fucking wimps and the storyline is so convoluted. Transformers 4 is not only one of the worst movies of 2014, but it is honestly the most disappointing movie of 2014. Enemy, a movie that's more focused on telling its messages rather than telling a story. In terms of messages, the movie does do a good job at that. But in terms of a story, I was really bored watching Enemy. The storyline is so jumbled, the characters are so boring, and this is coming from the same director of Prisoners, one of my favorite movies of 2013 and now he makes one of the worst movies of 2014. I'm sorry you guys, Enemy just wasn't my cup of tea. I really was hoping it would be better than what I saw. Number 16, Dracula Untold. It's just sloppy, it's boring, it just wasn't very good, it really wasn't. Number 15, Endless Love. Oh, more like Endless Bullcrap. This is a convoluted romance movie. It was so all over the place. It's very sappy. It gets very melodramatic. It's not a believable romance story. I love a good romance story. I really do. Yes, I may be a guy, but I am a sucker for those kind of things. I'm even into some romance fluff along the way, but Endless Love, man, did it just take this genre in the worst possible way. Endless Love was endless crap. Number 14, The Purge Anarchy. Oh yeah, that's great. A sequel I never asked for. I didn't even care for the original. I didn't hate the original like a lot of people do, but I just thought it was eh. And this one was blech. The Purge Anarchy is a step down from the original. You know, you just have people killing others for no reason. I just don't find it very entertaining. And it's just overall a goddamn fucking stupid movie. Transcendence. It was boring. Waste of potential on such talented actors. Terribly executed. And the writing does fall flat miserably. Number 12. The more like the loud ones because this movie is so loud and I'm and I know I'm not the only one saying that there have been other reviewers saying that could have been something interesting I remember being sort of intrigued when I watched the trailer but once I sat down and watched this movie from Netflix I was just really bored I thought the storyline was terribly written the execution isn't good and for the most part it's just a very unengaging and very uninteresting movie. Number 11, Brick Mansions. This is the only movie I gave one out of four stars that actually didn't make it in the top 10. So yes, Brick Mansions, it was a shit movie, just not as bad as the other 10 you're gonna see in my top 10 right now. So it doesn't excuse the fact that this is the final completed Paul Walker movie. All I could say is thank God this wasn't really his last movie. But in terms of completing a movie, it is his last. You have 
some very awful acting. You have the bullshit shaky cam. It doesn't make any sense. Brick Mansions, what can I say? It was an utter mess. But now with all of that out of the way, here are my top 10 worst movies of 2014. <laughs> oh, here we fucking go. Number 10, The Snooze Fest Man. Oh, wait, 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 I'm sorry, you guys. It's called The November Man. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Wait, Tony, didn't you give it half a star when you reviewed it? Yes, I did give it half a star out of four. Everything I had to say in my review for The November Man, yes, I, it is all there. I still stick by what I said about The November Man. I think the only reason I gave it half a star when I reviewed it was just because the movie was so damn boring. So I would give it one out of four stars. Not bad enough to get half a star, but it is bad to get one out of four stars because I was so bored watching this movie. I had a hard time staying awake. It would be me going, Whoa. and it was even more hard to stay awake when you don't even get the fucking plot started until like what, after the first one hour? It's just not interesting. The writing is absolute crap. And just what I said, it's boring as shit. Goodness gracious, this movie sucked. And it is my number 10. <laughs> Number nine is The Nut Job. <sighs> the Nut Job is one of the worst animated movies I've seen in a long time. This is not a good animated movie. I didn't laugh once. You know what's the only time I actually laughed at this movie? The end credits with PSY, Phi. You know, when he's seeing Gundam Style in the end credits. I won't lie, that made me laugh. But in terms of the movie, not a single joke hit for me. The humor was completely terrible. They make a lot of very cheesy nut puns. Oh, that's real great because the movie is called The Nut Job. Of course you're going to expect a lot of terrible nut puns. The animation is choppy. The storyline is absolute crap. It's generic and predictable without trying to be f refreshing. It's just there to be fucking lazy. And even some of the voice actors, Liam Neeson, although I liked him in the movie, what the fuck are you doing in the nut job? Seriously! Uh, Catherine Heigl, I mean, I may not be the biggest Catherine Heigl fan, but even she can do better than this movie. Just, what the hell, Catherine Heigl? She was good in here too, and Will Arnett was good in here too. I really hated watching this movie. Just couldn't stand the nut job. Ugh. Gosh, I want to just break my own nuts just talking about this. Number eight, left behind. With better execution and better writing and better direction, this actually could have been a good movie. But no, you have a storyline that's absolutely terrible. I mean, the religious aspects, those are actually the last thing that was really a problem with me. In terms of religion aspects, you know, that's not a problem. I do give the movie at least little, little credit for trying to express the religious themes. The problem is just that the writing was not very well thought out. Most of the acting was god awful. And Jordan Sparks? Jordan? Fucking Sparks? Just that one scene where she's trying to act all tough and she's holding a gun. <laughs> oh my gosh. But in all seriousness, Left Behind really should have been Left Behind. <laughs> Number seven, Sabotage. Oh, thank goodness David Ayer had another movie that came out in 2014. You know what the movie was? Fury. That was actually a good movie. Fury was a good movie by David Ayer, but David Ayer also had a crap movie coming out in 2014, and that goes to Sabotage. What is there really to say about this movie? It's so sloppy. The storytelling is a 
abysmal. You have some of the worst acting ever. Arnold Schwarzenegger was the only good one in this movie. He's the only good actor. Terrence Howard and Sam Worthington, they were okay. Not terrible, just okay. But the rest of the acting, oh, 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 holy shit. And David Ayer's direction in this movie, it's okay. Some of his direction felt sloppy and some of his shots did look pretty good. And the dialogue too. This movie adds some crude, hard, R-rated dialogue when it really didn't have to be. At least Fury did help me forget about this movie. But Sabotage is one of the worst movies of 2014. Without a doubt, I just wanted it to end, and the more the movie kept going on, the more it just drove me absolutely fucking nuts. Fuck Sabotage. Ah! Number six, The Legend of Hercules. Now, thank God to Brett Ratner and The Rock for actually making a good Hercules movie. That was a fun movie that described the definition of B-rated awesomeness. That was an awesome movie. You know what was it? This piece of shit right here. Legend of Hercules is really sloppy in terms of its writing, with its execution, the background, oh my god. Some of the most obvious background I've seen ever put on film ever. Some of the 1980s movies or 1990s or so on have better visuals than The Legend of Hercules. It's an abysmal movie. Enough said. <laughs> Number five, The Other Woman. It has very terrible writing. None of the characters are likable. The acting per se wasn't all that bad, except for Nicki Minaj. What the fuck were you doing in this movie, Nicki Minaj? <sighs> Leslie Mann. I like Leslie Mann. But she annoyed the fuck out of me. She just kept talking and talking. And she tries to drag it out to make it funnier. But it gets more painful and more un. Terrible. She's just all like, oh yeah, and then there's this guy with the purse, and then there's a bird, and then oh my gosh, look at that, the bird is eating that bread, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Oh, I want to slap her across the fucking face for that. And then Cameron Diaz, you know, she's not bad, but in terms of her character, she's just not likable. The other woman is not entertaining. It's not funny. I really didn't give a shit about any of the characters. All I wanted was this movie to end. And then there's a stupid scene where they use the Mission Impossible theme song. Like, seriously? Just seriously? <coughs> Number four, Paranormal Activity. The marked ones. This is so unnecessary. Apparently it's some kind of spin-off, but it tries to have connections to the first four Paranormal Activity movies. The acting actually wasn't too bad. I actually did like the main character, but it does have a storyline that's not interesting, and the more the movie goes on, the more stupid it gets. Especially once you get to the final 15 minutes? Oh my god. That ending was bull fucking shit. What the fuck did I watch? <laughs> Number three, VHS viral. Now, I actually thought the first VHS was okay. The second VHS, it was good. I actually liked the second VHS, with the exception of one segment in that movie, which I thought was terrible. But then we have VHS 3. Unfortunately, it was the complete opposite of VHS 2. The only good segment that comes out in this movie is the is this bit dealing with the magician. That was actually a very good bit. And it was actually rather creative. And in a way, kind of original. The rest of the segments, 
They're not interesting. There was one involving some kind of alien. That part almost put me to sleep. I had a hard time staying awake through that part. Then there's a segment with the skaters in which... Uh, I watched this movie and I just seriously think to myself, what were the writers thinking? What were they trying to do? What kind of story were they trying to tell? Seriously, did this movie want me to have fun or did it make me just want to strangle myself because of all the bullshit it puts me through? VHS viral can just go burn in hell. Number two, guess what? Another horror movie, Devil's Do. So yeah, Devil's Do. <laughs> it wasn't even really a horror movie. There's this couple that gets married, and I'm not gonna lie, I like the characters, I care about them, and the acting in this movie, it's actually not bad. The acting is not the problem. How the movie was trying to tell its story, how it was directed, how it was executed. Oh my goodness, yeah. That's where this film got really bad. Not only is it just a really bad movie, but it's boring as hell. Because nothing happens. You're going to get your build up. You're 25 minutes into a movie. And you're like, okay, something has to happen. You get like maybe bits and pieces of horror things that happen in between but not enough to really call it a horror movie and once you do get to your finale of the movie which is like what the final fucking six to five minutes of the movie seriously this movie is i think an hour 20 minutes an hour 30 minutes i really don't give a fuck how long this movie is i just know that for its short running time, it felt like it was never going to end. It just builds up, builds up, builds up to what? Nothing. This movie has one of the worst build ups ever. The fact that it's even a horror film makes me laugh because it's not really a horror film. My worst movie of 2014 is A Haunted House 2. If you've seen my review for Haunted House 2, you know how pissed off I was. The original was terrible. This movie, even worse than the original. Look back at my top 10 worst movies of 2013. A Haunted House is number 7 in my worst list. Look at this one. The sequel is number one. It's my number one. Wow, Marlon Wayans, you're such a talented guy. You know, a perfect example is The Heat. Watch The Heat. Marlon Wayans is really good in that movie. Why, why are you making these movies? They're not funny. You try way too hard. I mean, oh my god. You get a fucking two minute scene of him fucking an Annabelle doll. And he even rinses and repeats the jokes he used in the fucking original film. But, you know what's truly insulting to me? The fact that he used a dog gets killed joke once again. In the first one, he used it once. In this sequel, he used it twice. That's where, honestly, this movie just crossed the line. Now look, I'll give a haunted house to this. It's not as bad as Scary Movie 5. Scary Movie 5 is much worse than a haunted house 2. <sighs> What's happening to spoofs? These spoof movies just need to stop. The storyline is gone awful. The talents were wasted. The jokes are just forced. They're terrible. They're insulting. Marlon Wayans, he tries way too hard. I don't even know why the guy just wastes his talent. Because I do believe he's talented. But him doing movies like this is, is extremely infuriating to me. I hated watching this movie. It made me want to punch a wall. Yes. A few laps out of this movie. There were a few good laps. But other than that, A Haunted House 2, go 
fuck yourself, go burn in hell. You are the worst movie of 2014, you piece of fucking shit. So you guys, that's my worst movies of 2014, my top 10 worst movies of 2014. I'm gonna get positive here because if I get more negative, I am just gonna explode. But luckily I was able to get somewhat in control. Somewhat. But in the comments down below, let me know you guys, what are your top 10 worst movies of 2014? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!